buenas gente, ¿qué tal? Bienvenidos de nuevo al Witcher 3 Blood and Wine Llevo 8 vídeos seguidos grabados Este es el noveno Y ahora mismo llevaba casi 6 gigas Que me han ocupado los vídeos Y que tengo que subir con una mierda de conexión de 600k ¿Sabéis lo que significa eso? Pues que voy a tardar la vida en subirlos Pero bueno, no pasa nada Vamos a ver si puedo hablar con el limpia botas, continuamos nuestra misión principal. Y ahí estamos. Por cierto, tengo que mirar una cosa. Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather! I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morn, so folks will dirty their boots, go to you to get them cleaned. A far fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? A witcher, and I'd advise you to go back where you came from. I thought witches defend men from monsters, not cheats from justice. Need to talk to the boy. You can chat to him all you like, after we tan his hide. So stand down. Not gonna happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well. Which is all the same to me. What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? I'm investigating the beast, on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men? What are they doing? Nothing, really. Had a little misunderstanding. Figured it out, though. Uh-huh. I see. As the Duchess's protege, you may go. But this lord, that's another matter. You'll come with us. Some time in a cell ought to scare the dimwits out of you. Come on. Ah. You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. <laughs> yeah. How you imagine that working? Splendidly. That's how. I suggest a partnership, where I see to the boots while you stand guard. And as you're the stronger, come morn you take the chamber pot out and help me make mud. Bit about the mud's true. They were right to want to box your ears. I've <laughs> got to make a living somehow, so what say you, sir? Partners? Let me think about it. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they just come off my stamp. A seat, sir, please. Y aún te tendré que pagar. Este chaval por lo menos sabe hacer negocios. So then. Who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock. Not from around here. An arrival? Hmm. Indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Let's say... 500 crowns. Sí, what? Polla. Gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind of coin? 
expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand with a big sign. I want a new box too. New polishes, new brushes. And if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get waste water for free. Hmm. Got it all planned out. Capital is all I require. All right. Let's see if we can't figure something out. That's not even worth the spit I'd need to use to discuss it. That's not even worth the spit I'd need to use to discuss it. Out of the question. Quite simply, no. Just one problem. Don't have the coin. See if I can't get some, then come back. I shall patiently await your return. Well, greetings, noble. Tell me, good sir. Have you gathered the sum we spoke of? No. Here, the coin. Put it to good use. Well, no, 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 I shan't forget it. Now to the matter at hand. I know the fellow you seek, though I don't know his name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No. But you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir. I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. Feeling better? I am, thank you. The local necropolis. The air does wonders for me. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I've the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it? You will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort, and piles more coin. I am prepared to give you this vial, if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red, but I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might happen on a lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Perhaps later. Handled that kid pretty well. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning, the right thing to bribe them with. Red door. One the boot black mentioned. Y hay cuervos en la en toda la casa, o sea que. A ver. Hay muchísimos cuervos, o sea que esta es la casa seguro. Un budge, got to break it down. You might just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum and holler, "Dead laugh, I'm coming for you." A bit more finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Give me a moment.
Nice. Ever consider becoming a burglar? A skill like that had come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. Me mola muchísimo Regis. La voz que tiene, eh, que le han puesto en el, en el doblaje. La personalidad que muestra, eh, me, me gusta, me encanta, Regis. Es una juguetería. Sense him. No, he's not here, but he was here recently. His scent is still strong. Let's look around. Nada, un mal rollo que te cagas la esta, eh. Aviso de desahucio Aviso de desahucio Debido al impago del alquiler del local usado para fines comerciales El Tribunal Administrativo de Buclero ordena al arrendatario Aldric de Sam Desalojar el local en el plazo de 7 días El incumplimiento de este aviso de desahucio Conllevará la imposición de una pena de privación de libertad al deudor La duración de la condena será determinada por el Tribunal de Deudas Alguacil Víctor Lamaer mm, No dust mark Somebody moved this here recently I find these puppets rather disturbing. Carta para el tendero. Querido maese tendero, durante mucho, mucho tiempo les he pedido a mis padres que me compren un juguete. Mamá siempre se lamenta y dice que no tenemos dinero. Papá se enfada cuando le pregunto cuánto, cuándo va a ganar dinero y una vez casi me pega. Mis amigas tienen juguetes muy bonitos. Laura tiene un nosito de peluche y Michelle tiene una muñeca de pelo dorado que le puedes peinar con un peine de verdad. Temo que nunca voy a tener ningún juguete y por eso te escribo, maese tendero. Quería escribirte esta carta desde hace tiempo, pero antes no sabía escribir. Ahora ya sí sé. Si tienes un juguete bonito que no quiera ningún niño, yo lo cuidaré. Estará feliz conmigo. No te ríes de mí, por favor. Sé que soy pequeña, pero también sé que los juguetes no están vivos de verdad. Solo viven en nuestra imaginación. Bueno, qué marda. Lo querría mucho. Iza. Como mola. Como mola, mola mucho, mola mucho. Nice little trinket. Trinkets, power in trinkets. A ver, se puede sacar, sí. Sometimes I think I might end up like one of these toys. Ojalá, me dé, me... Somebody fixed this recently. Me molaría tener a mí un monigote de, de Gerald. Pero uno cañero, no, no de los de... Let's go. So this is his nest. Need to look around. Detlof van der Eretain, you do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renoed. Now you know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. You must complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure, your beloved's finger. Hostia, pues ya sabemos. Proof positive Detlove killed not of his own accord. A blackmailer sunk his claws into him. Any idea what it could be? Detlove have any enemies? Indeed. Detlove gains foes occasionally, but they never live long. One might have managed to evade him. Possible in theory, but I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlove yourself, whoever it is, it is someone new. Who's Renawed? His one-time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was very close. Because she accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. 
Ever meet her? Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him a time before he came around to save me, though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Take it you have your doubts. I know humans better than he does. Their capacity to be disloyal, dishonest. I also know she took her things. Not something one associates with the kidnapped, or those who disappear against their will. I'll save you the trouble of asking. No, I don't know why she left. I can, however, hazard a guess that Detlaf grew angry one day, showed another, more monstrous side. Detlaf's anger could frighten anyone off, though most who see it get no chance to flee. Detlaf have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him? Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Detlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. Detloff ever try to find her? I mean, if she was that important. Higher vampires have their ways, all kinds. Should have been easy as pie for him. Geralt, as you rightly noted, we are vampires, not miracle workers. He searched for months on end before giving up. Clearly, Renoued knew him all too well. Enough to cover her tracks, leave no way for him to find her. Even if Renoued did abandon him that time, looks like someone's actually kidnapped her this time. Hard to argue with that, and hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her, get her back. King he's King prepared King. to kill, that's clear. As would you be for Yennefer. He kills, for he cares for her deeply. And that blood, those individuals, they mean nothing to him. Yeah, I get it now. He's out to rescue a female from his pack. Exactly. Right, so someone's blackmailing him. We know that. Still have no idea who. Need to look around some more. Tools were used recently. Dedloff unwind by fixing toys between murders. Really now, Geralt, must you? Nice tune. Indeed. I'm not certain why, but it reminds me of home. Our true home from before the conjunction of spheres. Como me mola a mí también esa melodía. Joder, que me, sí me, me, me mola esa, esa melodía. Cartas que detallan objetivos de la bestia. Look, slips of paper, name on each. Count Crespi, Count Dulac, Milton de Peyrac Peyron, Count de la Croix. Detloff's victims, one and all. But that's not his hand. Must have come from whoever wrote the letter. All of it written using the same ink. See the color? Ink was dyed with cinnabarite. Rare mineral, pretty much found only in... Nazaire. But I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. Look, this slip is stained. With wine. Not much to go on either. Especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Blackmailer. Kinda curious who it could be. Why is that? Regis. Somebody kidnapped a vampire's lover. Bold to begin with. Now they're forcing the vampire to kill. A vampire you yourself insisted no murderer. Blackmailer's skilled. Someone special. Mm. No será la duquesa. Astute. Now that I think of it, I'm beginning to wonder if... It's not one of your kind? Another vampire? Precisely. The plot thickens. Just a hypothesis. Wouldn't set my heart on it till we know more. Right you are. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Deadlaugh's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one and the same Nazari ink, and not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Deadlaugh's innocence, clearly. 
Actually, it is. Detloff's being manipulated. Some lunatics turned him into a tool, making him kill. So it would seem. But this illuminates a path of action for us. We must find Renowet. Render the blackmail senseless. The lunatic or ticks will thus lose hold on Detloff. That's one idea. Hmm. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detloff? He gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Think he'll listen? He will. I'll await with you, maybe. No. He'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaff and I both. Pero antes de irme... Antes de irme quiero... Quiero investigar las últimas piezas de la habitación. Otros 50 de experiencia. A este ritmo no subimos, eh. Bueno, hemos investigado esto, por ejemplo. Es la cara de su amante, seguro. Y deben quedar más cosas aquí por explorar. Eh, y aquí ha habido un momento interesantísimo, ¿vale? Que no he querido comentar por, por la... Por la tensión del momento. Cuando dice incorrecto o correcto, es decir, cuando decimos si es inocente o no. Eso es muy a tener en cuenta. De hecho, a ver... A ver, voy a cargar. Y quiero ver qué pasa si decimos incorrecto. Personalmente estoy estoy de acuerdo en la decisión que acabo de tomar, ¿vale? Es decir, eh, si todo tal, eh, volveré a cargar esta partida. Pero eh, quiero saber qué pasa si le decimos incorrecto. El tema es que sigue siendo un asesino, Regis. Porque es eso, ¿no? Si, al, al fin y al cabo debería responder por sus actos, ¿no? no aunque lo manipulen. Es decir, a mí me hacen chantaje y me hacen matar a gente El asesino sigo siendo yo, ¿no? Joder, pero es que, es que está ahí la cosa delicada No sé, no sé, no sé Vamos a ver, de momento lo que voy a ver es Qué pasaría si tomamos la otra decisión Si le decimos la otra cosa A lo mejor no, no nos quiere ayudar Y aquí hay una bifurcación enorme en la trama, ¿eh? Look, slips of count credit must have all see vale, podemos pasar Fair todo enough. esto mucho más rápido, a ver. That seem all not but enough to ascertain. Not how I put it. Doubt it's how the Duchess will see it either. I trust you to convince her. And then what? Go on, don't be shy. See you've got it all figured out, including the grin I got to wear. It's a rather bold plan, but Were we to find Renowed, we would strip the blackmailers of their hold on Detloff. That's one idea. Hmm. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detloff? He gonna go on killing while I'm out searching. He will not. I shall convince him. Esto ya es lo mismo que hemos visto. Listen. He will. I don't know. Fine. Esto so es lo mismo it. que ya que ya habíamos visto. Así que no no tiene una decisión. No tiene una decisión real. O sea, no no solo por no supone un cambio muy grande respecto a que tomemos una decisión u otra. Así que voy a cargar mi partida y voy a ir a Corvo Bianco, descansar y lo voy a dejar aquí. Ahora creo que sí, que ya está bien, aunque me mola muchísimo. Yo seguiría jugando 20 horas más seguidas, pero creo que ya además se me están quedando pegados los muslos al sky de la silla... Y necesito respirar, descubrir el aire fresco y sentir cada mañana que soy libre como el viento Así que eh, vamos a guardar la partida y me voy a tomar un descansico Lo mismo juego al WoW o al an Epic Ya que es un día que tengo tiempo antes de irme a ensayar Pues le pego ahí un tute a todo lo que pueda Y más 
Pero la verdad es que ha sido una mañana muy productiva en cuanto al Witcher. He grabado con vídeos como para dos o tres semanas ya. A ver, informa a la duquesa de cómo va la caza de la bestia. E igual, a ver. Bueno, tenemos, tenemos ahí un marcador rápido, o sea que podría... Mercador, mar, mercader de tintes Paso de los tintes De momento Vale, hacemos el viaje rápido Voy a, voy a hacer lo del informe Total, ¿no? llevamos 26 minutos de vídeo Pensé al principio de los tiempos que, de, que empecé la, la expansión esta en hacer lo mismo que hice con, con la de uh, Hearts of Stone, es decir, eh, grabar los vídeos de una hora, pero al final, más que nada por tener contenido y no verme pilladas las pelotas grabando vídeos, pues eso, llevo muchas cosas en marcha, dije, pues voy a grabarlas de... De media hora, porque si no... No lo vamos a ver. Geralt of Rivia, Master Witcher. I was not mistaken. You arrived and trouble followed soon after. Step aside. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? case is more serious than we thought. The beast? I couldn't kill it. Didn't manage. We sent you after a monster and you return with nothing? We are very disappointed. So... Situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. Ha! <laughs> is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. O arm yourself with ample garlic and drive a stake through its heart. Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt them either. Those methods, pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Buckthorn? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Buckthorn drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done. Because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! Your Grace, I shall assemble a batu. Bring the matter to its end at once. The Witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. Go ahead. Send them to their death. Certain death. To a lone Witcher, perhaps. To 40 of my men at arms, but another skirmish. 40, 50, 100, doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. You have not seen my guards' men in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different. Unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats. Others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. No, they're dead. Dead wrong. Thinking of lesser vampires, Alps, Ekimaras, Catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct. Sure, attack anything that smells of blood. Higher vampires, they think, they employ reason. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What then do you intend to do? It's way beyond being some monster. This is a powerful being that's walked the world for centuries. Tja, <laughs> impossible. If so great is their power, why have they not killed or enslaved us all? Don't usually meddle in our matters. Mostly stay out of our way because they don't care about humans one way or the other. 
And they do not fear we shall wipe them out one day. <laughs> They'd probably be pretty amused if you asked them that. They're well aware of their strength. Then what can we do? Do you have a plan? Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. <laughs> know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmail? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Higher vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally... rich. Capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human. And he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free. Or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. Which is why that's my aim now, to prevent further attacks. Vampires only half the problem. Blackmailers at fault chiefly. Kidnap the woman to control the vampire. And what do you propose to do? I'll find the blackmailer, free the vampire's lover. You were to destroy him, not help him. No one else should die. That's most important. As soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. Do you know anything about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Send for the Ducal Sommelier. Hop, hop! In Tucson, wine is sacred. Here there is no such thing as a drop of wine, or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estest, Ervelus, Fiorano. Your Grace wished to see me? Witcher? Show him the paper scrap. Benoit, Man, can you determine muchísimo. which wine made this stain? Mmm. Mmm, yes. Yes. The, the west bank of the Saint Latour. That, that, that's rather obvious. Aged in barrels of Beauclair oak. Hue, deep burgundy. Clarity, high. It's simple, Saint Real, the 1269 vintage. That's... That's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Ravello, especially and exclusively for the Ducal table. Perhaps some Saint Real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard, see if there's not been an incident. Esto se pone muy interesante. It's highly unlikely you've ever had a chance to partake of it. As I said, it is only ever served to the Ducal family. Didn't stop it from ending up on that scrap of paper, unless your Grace's sommelier is mistaken. In no. matters of wine, Benoit is never mistaken. If he says it's Sonreal, it is Sonreal. We must ride to Castel Ravello at once. Discover what has happened. ¿A qué os referís con debemos? Wait. Your Grace wants to go with me? Out of the question. I hope you do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your Grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The Witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you gentlemen finally agree on something. But I've made my decision. We shall go. Accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. We will travel incognito. We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. 
In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your grace. Yes, your grace. Uh, Witcher, are you ready? No. Need more time. Make haste. Time is of the essence. Me voy a cagar en la puta. Me voy a cagar en la puta porque ahora no voy a parar. <ríe> no voy a parar porque quiero continuar esta misión. Así que voy a hacer una cosa. Voy a parar de nuevo. Eh, voy a parar un momentillo. El vídeo lo dejamos aquí. Y continuaré grabando, evidentemente, porque vosotros, si tenéis la misma. El mismo interés se os ha despertado que en mí. Eh, pues estaréis ansiosos por ver el próximo vídeo Pero yo necesito un descansito 5 minutos, voy a tomarme Voy a tomar un refrigerio Y enseguida vuelvo a grabar Para vosotros será un día o un fin de semana Entre medias, no sé O si estáis viendo el vídeo mucho después De que lo haya publicado, pues será eh, inmediato que, mira es, es mejor para vosotros, ¿verdad? En fin, muchísimas gracias por acompañarme Espero que os haya gustado el vídeo A mí me ha encantado Me está encantando esta misión principal Qué grandes son CD Projekt Red Qué brutal es este juego Y nos vemos siempre que vosotros queráis En el próximo vídeo, chao, chao